the odd guy, and he sent his son to die for us and us alone, right? So let me finish, let me show you this, right? So read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 5. Come on. For though there be that are called gods. Though there be those that are things that are called gods, right? When you look at the ancient Moabites, they worship the guy named Kedosh. Right? You look at the ancient Ammonites, they worship a guy named uh, Molech, right? Look at the Canaanites, they worship uh, Asherah and, and Baal, right? And El, right? They have all these different gods that they worship, right? Things that are called gods, right? Things that they fashion out of their hands, right? People, little, 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 little figurines, right? They will bow down and worship, right? These are things that are called gods, right? We know? Whether in heaven, whether in what, whether in heaven, come on, because they 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 fashion the guys like oh, this is God of the sun. Whatever the state of mind, yes, you're right, right? It is a state, of, it's, it's elevated, right? Heaven has two connotations, right? It can be a state of mind or a state of condition, or it can be the actual sky, right? And then being in the ground, right? Sky, so, so when we look at the Greek word for, for heaven, it's the Greek word, um, the sun is here, right? The Greek word for heaven, the Greek word for heaven, you get the exact Greek word, but it means stop, expansion of stop. Right? When you look at the heavens and the earth, you look at Genesis, it's in the heavens and the earth. The earth is the ground, right? The heavens is the sky, that's what you're saying, right? For though there be that are called gods, but they're heaven. But they're heaven, so again, people fashion their gods after the sun and the moon and the stars. They put them in or on earth. Or on earth. People would take, like for instance, the, the, the Philistines, they had a god named Dagon, right? Which was a fish. And they worshiped that as a god, right? Because the Philistines were one. Seafaring people. They were always on the move, right? They came through Egypt and made their made a colony in Palestine, right? They came by sea, they were seafaring people, right? So they it, it makes sense that they were worshiping a, a fish god, right? You know what I mean? Or earth. Or earth, right? So you got people that worship. Uh, we live the Israelites, right? Who lived in Egypt for a time, right? Under the slavery, under captivity, right? When they came out, most of them to the mountain, right? And left them alone. They forced Aaron to do what? Make them golden calves to worship, right? So it's natural for human beings to want to worship things on the earth, right? They worship animals. They worship creeping things, right? They worship things in the sky. They worship things in the water, right? Which God explicitly commands us not to worship. Right. What do you do the right right. Floor, right? As there be God's many and Lord's many. There be God's many and Lord's many, right? We work for the Lord's security, right? We work for the Lord in that context will be the Lord's security, right? 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 But to us, there is but one God. But to us, the Israelites, the Paul wrote this letter to a group of Israelites that were in the house of God, right? And he wrote to them, to us there is but one God, right? You know what I mean? The Father, the, the Father. Yahweh is the Father. He's the one God, right? The God, the only God that we worship, right? You know I mean? Of whom are all things. So everything comes from him. He's the source of all things, you know? And we in him. Uh -huh, come on. And one Lord Jesus Christ. And one who? Lord Jesus Christ. And the Hebrew name would be the Hamas, right? His title is Hamashiach, the Lord, the Messiah, the Lord, right? One Lord, one Padawan, one Baal, one Master, the Hamashiach, the Hamashiach, the Lord. By whom are all things. How be it, there is not in every man that not right? So, so what are you waiting for, right? It's going to have her So that was 14. This is that, right? Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 14. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments. Uh -huh. So ain't, ain't no order. Yeah, how I talk. Speak was dealing with Moses, mouth to mouth, as the scriptures tell us, right? He was the one that was getting the commandments from the Most High God and giving them to the people. He was the one that he. He's an angel, he must have Yeah, right? You know? That he might do them in the land where they could go over to possess it. Come on. Be a little bit of his love in Take ye therefore a good heed unto yourself. Uh huh. For ye saw no manner of similitude. You saw no manner of similitude. The other nations, right? They worship the things that they have likened. But two things that they see, right? They worship the creation more than the creator, right? Read on. Men of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you and Horeb, uh -huh, out of the midst of the fire. Uh -huh. Verse 16. Lest you corrupt yourself. Lest you what? Lest you corrupt yourself. Come on. 
and make you a graven image. Uh, and make you a what? A graven image. image. So again, the other nations made graven images, right, read on? The similitude of an, any figure. Of any figure, right, read on? The likeness of male or female. Uh -huh, come on. The likeness of any beast uh -huh. that is on the earth. Come on. The likeness of any winged fowl that flieth in the air. So again, don't no birds, don't don't pick an eagle and make a sculpture of it and then worship it, right? Read on. Verse 18, the likeness of anything that creepeth on the, on the ground. Come on. And the likeness of any fish that is in the waters so beneath the earth. Don't be like the Philistines and worshiping Dagon, right? Because he's not a real God, right? You know what? Verse 19, and let's stop, so like, and let's stop, lift up thine eyes unto heaven. Uh -huh. And when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, well, the even all the hosts of heaven. All the hosts of heaven, all the stars, right? People worship you. You have to talk about the horoscopes, all this nonsense. People really put stock in that stuff and believe in that stuff, right? Read on. Should it be driven to worship them? Don't worship them, right? They're for a particular reason, for size and for seats. That's what the, the luminary bodies are. And serve them. Uh -huh. And these people serve them, right? These people will sacrifice their children unto these great gods, right? Read on. Which the Lord thy God, which the Lord thy God have done what? Have divided unto all nations. So the Lord divided, gave all the nations, the sun and the moon and the stars and fish and birds and creepy things, for them to worship. Read on. Divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. Uh -huh. But the Lord hath taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace. Out of the what? Out of the iron furnace. He took us out of Egypt, right? And he did, and when he appeared unto us, when he when he made himself known unto us with that judgment, guess what? We didn't see any likeness, any figure, right? So he's commanding us to not make idols. Don't don't worship him by worshiping the, the works of our hands. Because to be a God means that you have power. You have power over something, right? Guess what? If I take a piece of wood and I carve it into a figurine and I worship it as my God, well, I'm really its God. That doesn't make any sense. But that's what the other nations do. And the Lord decided to choose the Israelites, to show himself unto the Israelites, to set wisdom in Jacob, right? As the scriptures tell us, right? And what we're trying to show you, brother, is that your nationality is that you descend to these people. That's not, that's not a denial. That's, that was, I, wasn't, I didn't deny that I want to, but uh, uh -huh. let me. Uh, so, let's go off about the 15, 20, you know, I to know, respectfully, not a dialogue right with you, okay? It's going to bring all what you said, not only in perspective, but what I understand. I, I get everything that you said. I'm listening. Go ahead. All right. Let me, um... Yeah. Let me, um... Okay. Uh... Let me, um... Okay. Uh... Chapter 10, um... The Holy Crown of More Science. What's this? Read it. The Holy Crown of Morris Science, Simple Magna, Simple Seven Simple, divinely prepared by the Prophet Noble Drawling, by the guidance Father God, Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful fallen and save humanity back to the highest plane of life with his Father God, Allah. So Noble Drawling is the Prophet that, that. Oh, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what this is. Yeah, I'm going to tell, tell you exactly who he is. Exactly who he is. I'm going to tell you exactly who my Prophet is. Hold on. What Prophet is he? Revelation 3. Revelation uh, uh, chapter 3, uh, verse 12. The one who is victorious, I will make a pillar in the temple. Of my God, never again will they leave. I will write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of my God and the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write them. So, so who's that was speaking? Who spoke those words? That was um. First of all, it was Christ. So it was, it was Christ. Yeah, yeah. So when he said that, right? So now we're talking about. We got to look at like he's talking about, you know. You worship the stars, the suns, the zodiacs, etc. You look at the course of the century. You read the book, the very beginning of the Bible, and talk about us. Fast forward, get into the new context. It's the revelation how it spoke about how we would be broken apart, separated, like talking about the Tower of Babylon. We would not understand the language. We would separate. So you say the end of the book is Babylon, about the separation from Babylon? No, 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 no. The result of all those things happening during this time, Solomon, Babylon, all the things, even the lot. When, when he was talking to a lot, he said, hey, if he got, just let me find one person. Just let me find one person who was righteous. Well, that, was, that was Abraham, not Lot. Abraham was trying to save Lot. So Lot was inside of the Lord, and Abraham was speaking to God. And, and God saved Lot and his Abraham wife for Sarah? Huh? Abraham wife for Sarah? Yes. Yes, Abraham's wife is Sarah. Sarah isn't Lot's wife? No. Lot's wife got, got destroyed with the pillar of salt. Yeah, because she decided to turn back. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't Sarah. Sarah. What's, what's, what's that wife's name? We don't have her name. We don't get her name. Her name's not important. 
It's good to say, remember Lot's wife. Why she looked back at me. That's why, that's why. I'm going to be twisting, but, yeah. but, you, but you do understand the story that I'm going to speak about. So, people going to be That's okay. Even dealing with that understanding. Um, uh, um, turn it back. So, it's time for people, uh, history repeats itself. Uh -huh. So, we're looking at now, Salah Kamora, uh, the, 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 the high rate of homosexuality. We're here, Salah. Uh, yeah, you feel know what I'm saying? So, this is what it is. So, let me, um, and please, let me rock out. I, I try not to, um, I'm going to ask you clarifying questions if, I, if I'm confused about something, right? Okay, okay. Uh, so, chapter 10, Jesus spake to the unity of Allah and man to the Hindus. It says, instruction 14, the universal Allah is wisdom and love. All men not see the triune Allah, which is three. One sees him Allah of might, another might see Allah of thought, another might see him Allah of love. As man ideal is God, and so as man unfolds, as God unfolds, man God today is not God. The nations of the earth see Allah from different point of views. And so does he not seem the same way to everyone. Man names a part of Allah, he sees. This is him in all of Allah and every word on Allah. I want to sure. Yeah. Him in all of Allah and every nation sees a part of Allah. And every nation has a name for Allah. So, so, so question, this, this is, this, these are the words of Noble Dwali, right? The Prophet Noble Dwali, Jesus again. You say you, you believe that, that Noble Dwali is... Yeah. I got faith in that. Belief in faith is different. How is he Jesus? Huh? How is he Jesus? Well, uh, Jesus and Nathan spoke about when he uh, come, uh, come again. Jesus not only was a, a prophet, but also a messenger. Okay, so let's go down, right? So you believe in the, in, you believe in the Torah and the Tanakh? Okay, so let's go to the Torah. Let's go to Daniel chapter 7 and let's go to verse 13, all right? One of my favorites, go ahead. All right, let's go show you, all right? So this, I want to I wanna know how Noble Drew Ali fulfills this, right? That's it. Daniel 7 and 13, quick. All right. Look at Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came. Who's the Son of Man? Okay. Came with the clouds of heaven. So, 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 no, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna substitute Son of Man with noble duality. So, and came to the ancient of so days. I saw in the night visions, uh -huh. and behold, one like Drew Ali. So one like Drew Ali, right, read on. Came with the clouds of heaven. So when did Noble Drew Ali come with the clouds of heaven, right, read? And came to the Ancient of Days. Who is the Ancient of Days? Where the Ancient Days came? History repeats itself. No, the Ancient Who is, who is the Ancient of Days? The Ancient of Days? Yes. How you describe it? I'm not, I'm not, maybe I'm not articulate The Ancient right of Days is a, is, a, is a title and a term for the Most High God. He's the ancient oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's that's what Ali. That's what Ali means in Arabic. Go ahead, see. Ali means what? Ali, most high. Ali means most high. Most high, without okay. a doubt of contradiction. I stand on that. Okay. Well, no, that does not mean that. Most high God is 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 El Elyon or Allah Ali Wan. Ali Wan means highest. Allah means God, right? Ali does not mean most high God. Right? But keep reading. So the ancient of days is Yahweh, right? He's the ancient of days. He's the most high God. He they brought him near before him. So, so, so there should, there should have been clouds bringing noble Drewali to the Most High God, right? We know. And there was given him dominion. And was given him what? Dominion. What, what dominion did noble Drewali have? What dominion did he have? What, what dominion was given to him? Did noble Drewali live and die? Okay, cool. I'm glad you said it. So noble Drewali lived and died, right? Read on. And glory. Uh, and glory. Listen, there's not a lot of people that follow what you follow, right? So it's not a lot of glory, right? But you read it. In a kingdom. In a what? In a kingdom. Did Noble Dwali have a kingdom? Of course. What kingdom did he have? That's kingdom. not a kingdom, brother. What is the, what is the, what is the word king? Shalom. Shalom. Was Noble Dwali ever called king? Did he ever call that king? Yeah. Yeah, it's Okay, so the word kingdom means the domicile of the king. How he cannot be, he cannot have a kingdom if he's not even called the king. He has no dom he has no king. He has no domicile. Right? No dominion, no rulership. Read on. And came to the ancient Slaki. Dominion Slaki. That all people that all that who? That all people, all people should what? Nations and languages should serve. 
him. Serve him. So if noble draws here, is Jesus Christ return, right? Guess what? All nations and peoples should be serving him. But that's not the case. Read on. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. No, Giali did not have, did not have an everlasting dominion, right? Read on. Which shall not pass away. He never had a dominion, it never passed away, it never even started, right? Read on. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. So again, it never started, it could not be destroyed, but it never was started, right? Read on. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit, uh -huh. in the midst of my body, uh -huh. and the visions of my head troubled me. Well, that's it on that, right? So noble Giali is not Jesus Christ, but right? Start right here. I understand, right? Unless you know about, unless you know about, um, verse in the Bible talks about, um, uh, a lot of different men's dominions, basically making rules for the earth, like that. No, he gave Adam, Adam, one singular God, dominion. No, not necessarily the dominion. I'm talking about the rules, the governments of the earth, right? Yeah, he, he so, so the Most High God gave His rules and regulations to a specific people. He never gave them to all people. All right, go to so second, go to second Ezra, the third chapter. Right. So listen, even dealing with that, right? Even, even dealing with that, right? Let's, 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 let's slow it down a couple of times, right? So listen. Alright, you not born in, or, 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 not all you guys are born in America. Anybody else born outside of this, out of this, North America? Who born? Who's born in where they're born? Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe, right? Who's born in Tokyo? Alright, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. So we we all we were all born in, the, in here in the good old U.S. Cool, right? So the way this federal government works is before the um, the um, I forgot the, the founder of the uh, the um, the Israelites, the brother that created the uh, created the uh, organization. There's no there's no there's no founder of the Israelites. No 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 no. The only foundation the organization. I'm not talking about the people. There's no organization. Y'all don't, don't have, so how did this come about? This, this, this it came thing. about through the spirit of the Most High God. So y'all do not have a, a, a gentleman that created uh, this organization and stuff like that? No. Uh, no, no, the gentleman that established this organization, his name was Jacob. And his name was changed to Israel. And the Israelites are the descendants of, of, of Jacob, right? right. The modern of the, day, modern day. I'm not no, talking no, about no, 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 it, no. It's, it doesn't matter about modern day, right? Every nation, every people that you see on the earth, they go back to a to a, a common ancestor, right? right? We all go back to Adam. Every single person on the earth goes back to Adam, right? But Adam had multiple children, and his children had children. And when we're looking at Jacob, Jacob was chosen amongst, from amongst them, right? The same way Adam was chosen from amongst them, right? And God dealt with Adam, and God, the Most High God, dealt with Jacob, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? And with their children. And the children of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, those are the Israelites. So Jacob will be the founder of the Israelites because he's the forefather of the Israelites. All right, I'm gonna I'm 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 leave this one where I have to get my piece because it's, it's not really, it ain't really going anywhere, but it's just the, it's the, it's um, not going anywhere, brother. Because, for example, right? How? You just said, number one, you said, so how is it? Well, basically, for not allowing me to explain. So you talk about, I asked this question before. Because at the end of the day, we can say that uh, uh, specifically America, we look at it. America is the modern day by the white people. They call it the white people. Yeah, cool. Give it to somebody. Right. So we're dealing with ancient times all over because this really piece of something special. So what it doesn't know themselves. So you would not know your identity. Two. So when I speak about property of Udrali, the more science is going to So the reason why the world was given property of Udrali is because it's coming to get something from the world. What does it mean to understand the people So if I come somewhere and I can't, and you have no idea that I can't. However, if I believe that I can't, who I am, who I am, and I'm going to get some of the No, no, no. We just looked at prophecy. Revelation. You were the revelation. You were the revelation. You were the revelation. Right? You want to use the revelation of three to try to say that that was about no one's Ali. So I asked you, did you hear that no one's Ali is Jesus Christ? And you said yes. Up and cool. So let's move back. Let's go to Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. John the Revelation, the one who's giving us the revelation, right? And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. So he's, he, he's in the spirit, right? He's receiving these visions, right? They're being revealed unto him. And in the spirit, he's bowing down before uh, an angel, right? A messenger, right? Read on. Let's see what the messenger says. 
I am thy fellow servant. I'm your what? Fellow servant. I'm your fellow servant, right? You know And of thy brethren. I am your what? Of thy brethren. God was an Israelite, right? From the southern kingdom of Judah, right? So guess what? This person that he's talking to in the spirit world is the best of the world. So this is your house, the false god don't want no challenge with us. Islam and Christianity is the biggest drug that's known to Jake. Take heed before you OD and then bug out to a hopeless fate. The most high, he don't make mistakes. We don't want to slice, we gonna take the cake. And we can't wait until the kingdom come. You need reservations to get in them gates. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldiers. I'm on the block with some soldiers. I'm talking precept holders. Wicked game up like soldiers. 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 We moving wiser than cobras. Sicarius, Lakosha, Nosha. Or a I bet you gon' fold up.